Hi, and if I don't get the chance, happy Christmas uh, to you. A friend of mine in Canada, Jane, says to me, Gordon, you don't read your stories anymore. And I say, well, there's an American but that reads them for me if you press play. She says she likes to hear them herself. So in order to keep Jane happy, I'm going to read this one. If Jane might be the only one to listen to it, but that'll be worth doing it just for Jane. So this is the medium story. It'll probably be in the end of the page. And it's what comes in threes with a picture of feelings and a woman sitting on a bed. I was walking towards the cathedral for carols on the hour when I slipped, found myself temporarily in the air and then firmly on my front. The saxophonist playing nearby shouted over, was I okay as I composed myself? Later, as I was sitting in traffic, I heard a loud noise. I thought, did I backfire? Did I stall? No, the vehicle behind me had hit me. I got out, as did the other driver. I could see no damage, but pulled my car forward just to make sure. It was fine to my relief and hers. I thought, what's about today? A fall and then the car gets hit? Of course, the old maxim, trouble comes in three, threes, ran through my head. I like to think I don't believe in that stuff. It was around 6.30 when I heard T shout out as I heard a clattering from the bathroom. I knew immediately the shower screen had fallen. I had noticed a week ago that it seemed to be loose, but satisfied myself it didn't need immediate attention. In falling, it punctured the bath. Oh no, this is going to cost me money. Quickly remembering that it was good that tea was okay, albeit she was only halfway through washing her hair. I don't like damage. I don't like damage like this. It thwarts my sense of a perfect world. Best I go and sit down as I've learned to do. My brain is now in processing mode and its emotional side is at its height. It runs a series of thoughts that I am familiar with. That has ruined Christmas. If I thought I was going to my secret place or the city on the hill, not this year, Josephine. How am I going to shower? I must have a shower. How am I going to relax? I must have a bath. The emotions power up these thoughts which create quite a disco within me. I know I just have to let the process process. T recovers quickly going into solution focus mode. I shout to her from another room in which I'm allowing my brain to process. This is where my in the moment living gets tested. It was being tested and I was trying to prove it. Now I've come to accept that I have to let my brain do what it has to do. As I often say, it's like a kid that needs to settle itself. So while I'm letting it do that, I'm trying to be present. The only thing that is real is now. The only thing that is real is now. You got it? The only thing that is real is now. After a while, maybe 30 minutes, I can survey the damage. I flinch, but I know I'm beginning to accept. I resolve I will deal with it tomorrow and give myself the night off. Meanwhile, I drive T to the airport. I'm awakened this morning by my brain, the inner child, crying that it won't be able to have a shower. I'm aware that it catastrophizes. The world has ended. The emotion always believes it. So now nobody wants to get out of bed. I'm not sure how long I twist and turn, but I've come to know that at a point I will arise. I heard, what is your reality? And that was my cue. I've just put a PS on there 
of a video on YouTube that I took of the Saltwell Singers in St Albans who were out on Saturday at the Maldines giving us some Christmas cheer. So whatever was whatever's going on, there's always usually, hopefully, something positive too. So I hope you enjoy that. Cheers. See you, Jane.